Hi there, this is Unmesh and today I'm going to show you how to add texture to your images in four simple steps. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and if you want to download this photo or the texture, check the links in the description. So the first step is bringing in the texture, as simple as that. Let's go to the folder which has the texture, drag it and drop it on the same document over the same document in Photoshop. Now if you cannot drag and drop, what you can also do, you can open it in another document, Control or Command A to select all of it, Control or Command C to copy it, come back to this document and then press Control or Command V. If you drag and drop, it opens as a smart object. Let's make it bigger by holding the Shift and Alt together. That makes it bigger from the center. If you're using a Mac, that would be Shift and Option. Let's press both of them together and make it bigger from the center till it fits. And once you're satisfied, hit Enter. Now, if this is not a smart object, make sure you convert that into a smart object by right clicking here and choose Convert to Smart Object, if that's not the case. Now the next step is also very simple and that is selecting a blend mode which fits in, all right? What I personally do is that I click here once, I click here once again and with the scroll of the mouse, I browse through the blend modes. So if your mouse has scroll, you can just simply scroll, see which one looks good to you. For me, probably I'll go with, see, the color dodge looks amazing. It's, it's actually vivid light looks amazing. The color dodge, I think, would also look amazing. Let's try. See, this is also amazing, adds that kind of texture. But I'm gonna go with soft light. That's great. So the next step is done. First step, bringing in the texture. Second step, select the blend mode. Third step is enhancing it. It's not as powerful. How do we enhance it? Well, you can try making a copy of it. Press Control or Command J. Does it make it better? Yes, it does make it better. Now, let's add an adjustment layer. A levels adjustment layer, click on the adjustment layer icon and choose levels. Now in this adjustment layer, you can make the bright areas even brighter. Okay, do not worry about the texture on the subject. We can take care of that later. All right, you can make it brighter like that, something like this. And you can make the dark areas darker like that to add that crunch. And that is taken care of. You can collapse it later. What you can also do, you can add one more levels adjustment layer and just as a spotlight, make the bright areas darker by taking this slider to the left. So this slider makes the bright areas darker. This slider makes the dark areas brighter. So let's take this to the left just like this with the brush selected, okay? Make sure the brush is big enough, make sure it's hard. The foreground color blank, opacity and flow at 100. Just click once in the middle. Then Control or Command D. Right click and choose Distort. Now just shape it like a spotlight. Let's do it and go crazy with it. This is the enhancement section, step number three. All right, let's zoom out and let's go more crazy with this. Now this is really crazy. Let's zoom out even more and, whoops. Okay, that is great. That's not bad. Let's zoom in. Let's see how that looks. That is great. Once you're satisfied, hit enter. Now, I think I want to rotate it, press Ctrl or Command T again. Probably I'll rotate it like that. Okay, now once that is done, just blur the mask out. Select the mask and then the mask properties will show up. If that doesn't show up, go to Windows and then make sure properties is checked. Then increase the feather to some crazy number. Let's go with, this is good, one, 200. Let's go for 200. That is great. Now, we don't want the subject to have the effect. We don't want that. So here's what we can also do. We can make a group of all of this by selecting all of them, holding the control or command or select the first one, hold the shift key, select the last one just above the background layer and then press control or command G. Now this brings us to the fourth step and that is masking. Now masking determines where do you want the texture to be and where you don't want it to be. So we don't want it to be on the subject. So let's turn off this group and come back to the background layer and we need to make a selection of the subject. Now, there are tons of ways in which you can do it and you can refer all these videos links in the description on making a selection of the subject, but we need a quick selection. So here's what we do. Select the quick selection tool and we're gonna use the brand new tool called Select Subject in the latest version of Photoshop. If you do not have that, no problem, just simply with a quick selection tool paint over him. 
All right, so select subject. It does all its mathematics, Adobe Sensei and all those artificial intelligence stuff. And then once it's done, it's not a perfect selection, but it's enough for us. Select the group, turn on the group, click on the mask button. Now this does just the exact opposite of what we want. <laughs> select the mask and then press Control or Command I to invert it. Now we have got it. However, it's very sharp, not looking great. So let's blur the mask out. So select the mask and increase the feather. Don't go crazy number just something great. Let's select 80, that would be fine. All right, now it's looking not very bad. Now the four steps are complete. Does that mean that we stop editing this photo? Absolutely not. We can always go back a step, go forward a step, go back and forth, just switch it. Doesn't have to be in the same order. Now let's go back to step number three, which is enhancing. We need to enhance it more. So first of all, the problem that I see right here is that we need to make the dark areas even more darker. So let's open up the group, come back to this levels. Let's take it even more to the left. And if I do that, I think I'll have to make it even more blurry. So select the mask and increase the feather even more. Let's go 400, 450. How does that look? Or probably 400. That's not bad. Now, the best part about this is press Ctrl or Command T and you can adjust it right now. Right click and choose Distort and you can adjust it accordingly. Right? Isn't this wonderful? Now, once you're satisfied, hit Enter and that is also taken care of. Now, as you can see, the subject is not bright enough. So here's what we can do. We can add one curse adjustment layer on top of the group. Let's collapse this group. Click on the adjustment layer icon and choose curves. Whoops, I chose levels. He choose, we have to choose curves. All right, let's make the brights brighter even more. Okay, now the problem is this adjustment layer is inside the group. We need to bring it outside, just like that. Make the brights brighter. Click on the symbol to bring back the properties. This is okay. And if you want, you can also just adjust it the way you like it. But for me, I'm fine with this. Now, I want this just on the subject, nowhere else. So we already have a mask, which kind of selects the subject, but in an opposite manner. So we'll copy the mask and paste it over here. So hold the Alt or Option, click and drag and drop it over here. Replace layer mask, yes. And then this is just the opposite, press Control or Command I, and there you have it. If you want to decrease the opacity, you can, most welcome to do that. And that is done. Let's have a look at the before and after. Before, after, texture added. Also, if you want to add some color to the texture, you can do that as well by adding a levels adjustment layer or any adjustment layer, probably also hue saturation, whatever you want. I'm gonna click levels and let's add some blues or oh, on the right hand side. Yeah, something like that. That is looking great. And maybe I'll add some red as well. A little bit of that. Okay, done. I can further do whatever you want. I'm gonna change the background to default so that you can see. Easy, right? So that's how you add texture in four simple steps. First of all, bring in the texture. Second, select the blend mode, enhance it, and then mask it. And then you can enhance it again. You can also add a color lookup table on top of that, really. And this is the final result. And that's pretty much it. Hope this video was helpful. And if this was, make sure to give us a like. And also, do not forget to subscribe. And not just subscribe. Ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss a thing. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.